Welcome back, everyone. Lon Archibald back with us today. He's our movie reviewer extraordinaire. Today, he uh, he saw Nope, uh, Jordan Peele. We were just talking about before we came on. Jordan Peele's had a string of successes. This one's getting rave reviews, and I was trying to explain the plot. Maybe you can help me out with it. Sure. So, um, Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer are um, a part of a, a horse ranch farm, a Hollywood horse ranch farm. They're actually the only uh, African-American-owned um, horse ranch farm in uh, in the nation, and um, the ranch is actually run by Daniel Kaluuya and uh, his father, played by Keith David. Um, well, something falls out of the sky and kills Keith David. And that's not a spoiler. You actually see his corpse in the uh, in the trailer, and um, you know they figure that it's aliens. Um, so they decide that the only way, that, and this is Hollywood, obviously, <laughs> the only way that they're going to be able to uh, get anyone to believe them is if they are able to catch the aliens on camera. So they get a bunch of camera equipment. Um, they uh, run into uh, a tech a tech a tech agent um, named Angel, played by uh, Brandy uh, Perea, and he's great. He's amazing. Actually, he's very funny uh, in this movie. He's kind of the third wheel. Um, and they try to capture this alien on camera at the same time. Um, Stephen Yun from the, uh, the Walking Dead, he has his own uh, little mini story going on, but he's also um, trying to, to capture the aliens and try to um, show the aliens off as a, as a spectacle. It's a big spaceship. They're trying to capture this ship. Uh, I don't want to give too much away because that would get into spoilers, but um, that's basically the, the main crux of, of the plot for no. Do, do, am I wrong in saying that it seems like the, the uh, studios are giving Jordan Peele a little more money to work with? No, yeah, this is definitely his highest budgeted film. Um, and you can tell as well with the special effects and everything. Um, now, this is a film that borrows heavily from a lot of um, early 70s and 80s um, films. Um, you're going to get references to Jaws. You'll get references to Close Encounters of the Third Kind. You'll get uh, even a, a reference, if you, don't ca unless, if you catch it anyways, um, to Raiders of the Lost Ark. So Jordan Peele wears his... Um, influences on his sleeves, but he's still able to um, kind of mix and match and twist them around to make it his own thing. And the budget definitely shows. Um, this definitely looks amazing. I caught this on an IMAX um, theater, and it looks fantastic. This is one of the best-looking films um, that, that you'll see all year. You mentioned some of the cast, and um, I've, what I've heard from their views is that the acting is just superb in this. Yeah, this is this is definitely um, an, an actor's movie as well. Um, I know that I've already heard some people talking about Kiki Palmer getting a, a nomination for Best Actress. I'm, I, I'm not sure if that will actually happen, but her performance is really that good. Um, it was almost like someone told her, it was almost like Jordan Peele told her, just be Chris Tucker and um, throw a little bit of yourself in there. And, and she did that. Um, and, and but, but at the same time, it's not, it's not distracting. Um, you can tell that she's still a fully realized character, and all of these characters um, are all realized three-dimensional people. Um, they're real people with real emotions. Um, the, um, the chemistry between Kiki Palmer and Daniel Kaluuya as a brother and sister are great. You can really believe that they are family. There are shots that, um, where Daniel Kaluuya looks like Keith David, um, so, and you can tell that there's a father-son relationship there as well. All right, sounds great. How many Lennies do you give this? Um, I'd give this a four and a half. It's not a perfect film, but it is still pretty great. It's still one of my favorites this year. Um, and Jordan Peele, you know, I mean, he can't do no wrong. Even his lower, um, you know, uh, offering us was, was still better than one of their uh, movies this year. And, and, you know, I just love the, the chemistry between all the actors. It really makes you feel like you're watching uh, a new generation version of, of Jaws. Yeah, sounds really good. Lynn, as always, we appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. You bet. Nice chatting with you. We'll be back right after this.